So as I'm waiting for Holly to go through my sniper unit to make sure it's not bad, I decided I needed something to do in the meantime while I'm waiting the, the month, month and a half. I wanted to build something that can take the Shelby on. The Shelby, uh, it's a 2017 Shelby GT350. From the factory, it's a 5.2 liter dual overhead cam, 32 valve, 526 horsepower at 7,500 RPMs at the crank with 429 torque at 4,750 RPMs at the crank. So there's lots of dyno tests out there. This one has never been dynoed. There's lots of dyno tests out there that shows that it's actually 469 at the wheel and like 397 torque at the wheel. So what I'm going to do is try to build something that's equivalent. That's a 5.2 flat pane crank. I'm going to put together a 5.3 LS. So Ford versus Chevy. And I'm going to build it the 5.3. Boost it, I have to put the gap in the rings, tear it all down, and possibly put it back in the 65, which I scrapped the project, but the guy who's going to buy it never came, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the table, start working on it again. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start tearing it down.
All right, so as I was pulling the motor apart last night, I started noticing some discrepancies on what the guy said at the junkyard. The push rods, you can see, I don't know if you can see that one right there. Okay, see the cat eye look effect in it? If I can do it like this. That cat eye effect, come on, focus, it's uneven wear. So with the uneven wear, I'm going to have to replace the push rod. So my budget build is now becoming a little bit more pricey. So I'm replacing the push rods, which if these are wearing unevenly, which means the rocker arms are wearing, wearing unevenly. So, have to replace these, we're gonna have to replace these. And because I can't get the lifters out, and they're stuck in the motor, I'm probably gonna have to force them out after I take all this apart with a screwdriver and push them out, hammer them out, whatever I gotta do, and uh, clean up the ports, and then put it all back together with new lifters. So, my little budget-friendly build here is now beginning to get a little costly. As you can see my lighting in the garage is poor at best. Old school wired in only two of them at two lights each so four lights all together and you can see last night it, it was so dark I couldn't even do the pull I had to stop pulling the motor apart because I couldn't see. You know, even now, with the lights on, I have a hard time showing, you know, how bad the push rods are. So, I went out to Lowe's to see what I could find for lighting. And they had these 8-footers that had uh, mismarked. Instead of being $89, they were mismarked to $41. And when they rang up, they rang up $89. But when I complained about it, they actually gave me the $41 price because it was marked at the uh, the shelf as 41 bucks. So I do have the new lights up and actually as you can see I can see everything in the block now without using a flashlight. So I'm extremely happy about that. So there we go. One, two, three, four. And it's like night and day different between the old one and the new one. Each one of these are 9,000 lumen. That's 36,000 lumen in total. I should be very happy. All right, so the camshaft has been giving me a hell of a time trying to take it out. And after I get it out, I start looking at the bearing. And notice, you know, I might have been better off just buying a fresh block and starting from scratch. Got the motor completely torn apart now. And I'm a little concerned with the wear. The wear going down from the side skirts hitting. And they're hitting a lot. And then if you look at the pistons itself, every single one, all the way down, so my Low buck rebuild has went out the window. The lifters, I had to hammer out. They would not go through. The, all the wear and tear, I'm going to see the shiny versus not shiny. So, 
thinking I'm gonna have to get the 16 lifters. I'm gonna have to get 16 push rods because there's foobar. You can see here the wear on that. That down here looks normal. When you come up to the cup, you see it down here on this side. It's all the way ground. So even my rocker arms are toasted. So with that being said, uh, rocker arms, lifters, push rods, springs, I might as well go all in, spend a couple more thousand dollars instead of being a low buck rebuild and do an actual high-end rebuild, aftermarket heads, turbo, cam, yeah. Fuck it at this point.